we had an indication that it was coming to Australia and we no longer have an indication that it's coming to Australia. So I don't actually know what's going on with Google Voice at the moment. We've been waiting in limbo mode for years now to see what's going on. I don't know what the holdup is. If I knew, I would allude to that, but I don't know. Why is Google Voice only possible to use in USA and not in Norway? Great question. Google set up Google Voice and began rolling it out to the world. And Google Voice is a pretty darn amazing product, deeply integrated with Google Workspace and basically gives you a virtual phone system that allows you to designate numbers to different team members, set up a call queue for incoming calls, and then effectively have some of Google's AI tools built into your phone system. Like for example, having all of your phones ringing on all of your different devices and being able to answer from any place is a nice feature. Does things like automatically transcribes your voicemails and puts them into text for you. Lots of great stuff. Now, Google started rolling this out globally and then paused. And I don't know exactly why they paused. I don't know if it was because of regulatory issues. I don't know if it was because it was just too much overhead. I don't know if maybe it wasn't growing fast enough for them. But for whatever reason, Google paused their global rollout. And I've got to be careful what I say, not to breach my NDA with Google, but we had an indication that it was coming to Australia and we no longer have an indication that it's coming to Australia. So I don't actually know what's going on with Google Voice at the moment. We've been waiting in limbo mode for years now to see what's going on. I don't know what the holdup is. If I knew, I would allude to that, but I don't know. It appears their global rollout has been paused for a number of countries. I expected it would have come to Australia for now, but it hasn't. If I were to speculate, I would say it would be either regulatory challenges. I do know, considering we have a very close relationship with an alternative called Dialpad, that porting numbers and dealing with telcos, it's like an AI modern new age business dealing with stone age or horse and cart technology because interfacing new virtual phone systems with old school telecommunications providers with hoarding numbers in and out and managing the backend telco infrastructure is an absolute nightmare. Not only that, but there are all the regulatory challenges. Most countries have telecommunications designated as a utility, and therefore there's a bunch of laws that apply. In Australia, we have something called the Ombudsman, which is effectively an individual, independent third party that regulates the telecommunications industry. And so, for example, if you call up a telco provider and you say, hey, I'd like a new phone number, and they don't deliver it within a certain number of days, you can go to the ombudsman and lodge a complaint, and they will actually fine the telecommunications provider. And it's guilty until proven innocent. The telco provider have to work to overturn that fine, otherwise they just get slapped with a fine straight up from the ombudsman. So whether are those kind of challenges a large company like Google who wants to move fast, make money and not be held back, that can be a real challenge for them to roll out. So one speculation might be that rolling out telco products is just too hard basket for them. And they instead are focusing on other areas of their business, like growing their cloud platform, growing other features in Google Workspace and responding to other market dynamics that are going to help them to make more money, considering telecommunications is a pretty crowded place. Number two speculation might be that for some reason, the product wasn't growing at a rate that they were satisfied with. We do know that Google are very strict in making sure that products are growing at a certain rate and getting a certain level of user engagement for them to continue to invest in their products. And that's why they kill so many of their products. It's because they just don't get the numbers. When they don't get the numbers on a product, they don't get that hyper growth that they really want to get to. Quite often they just bid it and they go and focus on something else. So it's possible that Google are not seeing the growth that they're happy with across Google Voice and therefore they're deciding not to ramp it up. Who knows what the reason is? If I have any more data on that, I'll be sure to share it on the channel. If you like this content, please hit subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we go live or drop new content on the channel. Now, if you'd like to connect with us, hit us up on social media or join our free community group. All the links to that are right below this video. If you'd like to learn more about Google Workspace and the technology ecosystem, you can join our free Genius Academy by transferring your billing across to IT Genius. Or you can join a Workspace Basics Bootcamp. Now, if you're a business owner and you're interested in an audit on your technology stack or your Workspace account, or you're looking to do a project in the tech world, well, you can take advantage of our free consultation. And if you need help right now, then consider joining Concierge or taking up a quick fix with our team for professional support for your tech stack.